I'm back with the second part of Fallout 3. When we left off, we had just escaped the Enclave's uh, clutches, and we met up with Fox fighting outside who wished to join us, and now he is a companion. Uh, don't know what happened with my system to freeze up like that, but I got it to work again. And what I did is uh, came home, dropped off stuff I didn't need, put away my bobbleheads that needed to be put away. I believe all of them have been put there, yeah. No more bobbleheads in inventory. So we have seven out of the 20 so far. And uh, sold off some stuff, and now I'm ready to go dig in, take a look, and see what else we can get into. So let's see here. Oh, this is Trent Pickledick. I don't know why I didn't realize his name was Trent Pickledick. Well, the first thing we got to do is we do have to go to the Citadel and turn this quest in. So to the Citadel we shall go. So yeah, rather than doing all the editing and putting the two videos together, I figured it would make life a hell of a lot easier just to make it number 10 and number 11. So I do apologize for the glitch. That is something I don't normally see uh, when recording one like that anyway, uh, especially one as bad as that. So of course I do. See, in this game, the uh, Brotherhood's, like, really friendly. Then in Fallout 4, they're dicks. Still kind of good guys, but dicks overall. All right, so we're looking for Elder Lions. And technically, there is another Fallout 4 tie-in here. Uh, if we really dug around really hard in here, we would find... They Elder Maxim. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Well, sort of. I found the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Well, it's not. The Enclave took the uh, Gek. They're installing it but now. But you must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Eden wanted me to sabotage the project with some kind of virus. I see. Where is this virus now? I have it here. Take it. Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. 
Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. Okay. The Pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Uh, I'll take... Well, I've got power armor. I'm rocking it now. I'll take recon. All right, here you go. I hope it fits. So you think you can handle this? Of course I can. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. I'm ready. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. Yeah. And don't let that thing step on you. I can't promise that. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! <laughs> I think we're reaching the end of the main story. We are about to level. Oh, close. Completed the American Dream. But the nice thing is, is unlike the original uh, Fallout 3 before all the DLC, particularly Broken Steel, uh, when you when you beat the original game, spoiler, you died. Your character died. Luckily, luckily now, that is no longer the case because they allow you to move on beyond the main story. And that's why I'm willing to actually do it right now. We'll, we'll, we'll go and we'll protect Project Purity, maybe even turn it on and, and end the main quest, the main story quest. And then we could still have all the DLC and we could still have all the uh, Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Hell yeah, Liberty Prime, make this shit happen. Let's do it. Come on, buddy, me and you, we don't even need the Lion's Pride. We got this. I just gotta be careful not to get walked on by you. But, uh... You know, we can do all the DLC and all the, the other uh, great uh, plays as well. Uh, searching and stuff of that nature, uh, exploring, scavenging, checking out parts of the map we haven't been to yet. Obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic resonance barrier. Probability of mission hindrance. Zero percent. <laughs> he is a badass. Detected on American soil. Lethal force engaged. He is a badass in every sense of the word. Yo, he just chucked a nuke. I may want to 
want to heal that. Or you will be eradicated. But I am part of the Lion's Pride now, so... I am an honorary Brotherhood of Steel member. I love the fact that I haven't really been able to do anything no. except for get blown up like this. be smart of me to heal some of those. Apparently I'm not allowed to even attack. Wow, more Tesla armor, I'll take it. On the road to freedom. I mean, if you got Tesla armor, I'm taking it. Just letting you know. I don't need that, really. Or do I? How's mine looking? Yeah, I can take it. Oh, wait. Alright, uh... Alright, and then we will... Rock that together. And that together. Say Liberty Prime, make it happen, Captain. Democracy is truth. Communism is death. <laughs> we will not fear the red menace. America will never fall to communism. Go ahead, you're fine. Okay, I've never seen this. Hellfire armor. I will take that just because I've never seen it. I don't need it. That's right, we are rocking with Liberty Prime. This mofo just tearing through like it ain't no tomorrow. And throwing nukes. Significant obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by enhanced photonic resonance barrier. Uh -huh. Established stratagem. Inadequate. Revised stratagem. Initiate photonic resonance overcharge. Oh no, he's he's up! He's a badass! Liberty Prime's still in it. Reach. Reach the uh, control room. That I can do. That's easy enough.
That's easy enough. We got to walk and rock with Liberty Prime. That was hilariously fun. Better check myself, because I'm walking awfully weird. No, I'm good. Too far away. Uh, hello, thank you. Uh huh. I don't remember throwing all this shit in here, but I'll take it. He's firing. Why am I not allowed to get on him? Oh, that's Sentinel Alliance, okay. Flip. Take on, oh wait, Tesla armor, need it. Microfusion Tesla armor, need it. Yes, I know. Microfusion, I really don't need any more armor. And we got a level. All right, let's see here. We're lockpicks at 100, science is at 100, speech is at 100. Let's bring energy weapons up to 65. Uh, let's bring medicine up and repair up. And we'll throw a couple into sneak. Let's see, where are we at now? Computer whiz, fail a hack attempt and get locked out of a computer? Now, if you're a computer whiz, with this perk, you can attempt to rehack any computer you were previously locked out of. Tag, the tag perk allows you to select a fourth tag skill. Mm. I think... For now, we're going to do Mysterious Stranger. We're good. I want to make sure we get a couple Nuka Colas because we need. It's thirsty work, man. We got to get some nukes. Load up. We're going into the rotunda. You again. Yeah, it's me. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Give it up, Autumn. You lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. Uh -huh. Raven Rock is gone, Eden checked out. There's nothing left for you. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. Okay. This isn't the way to do it. More fighting will just end, make things worse. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's screw this, you're going down. Such arrogance. If that's your wish... Let's do it. <gasps> Bye. That made me feel good. Oh, Fox got in my way. Dumbass. 
kind of want his laser pistol and his uniform. In fact, I want everything he's got. You, you've got stuff I want. Well, that takes care of that. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Okie dokie. Dr. Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there were some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. I agree. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? I'll do it. I'll start the pot. Wait a minute, Fox can start the purifier. He's not a, he's not, he can't be harmed by radiation. If that's how you want to do this, fine. But be quick about it. Mm. This is a dire predicament. What shall we do? Fox, I need you to start the purifier. The code is 216. Ah. Of course, uh, my immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber, but you have already altered mine. The least I can do is Return the favor, cycle the airlock, and we'll put an end to this. All right. How do I cycle the airlock? How do I cycle the airlock? All right there. And we'll just make you stand here and get irradiated. If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. Come on, Fox. Two, one, six. It's not that hard. It's three buttons. It's not like I can move. Uh oh. It's a bright light. Technically, this is where I, you would die in the game because you were in there. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. The people we've met and helped. It was not until the end of this long road 
that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example, instead allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Mm -hmm. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. Uh huh. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer. No, it doesn't. Who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war. War never changes. War never changes. So there you go, guys. Up. Oh. There you go, guys. That is the end of the main story of Fallout 3. But the, the game is not over. We still have a couple DLCs. We still have plenty more other things to do. I'm alive. Now this is virgin territory for me. I've never seen shit like this before. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine. You're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up. Despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Uh oh, where's Sarah? Is she okay? Yes, yes, she's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really, don't worry. You've been through enough. What's going on? It's all right. You're safe now. You're in the Citadel. You said that already. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. What about the purifier? Did it work? Indeed, it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Oh, uh, uh, so what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. <laughs> is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. All right. 
Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. I truly appreciate that. What's up, guys? We are still alive. Can you believe that shit? We started death from above. This is the Broken Steel DLC. But the thing is, is we are not going to do it. Although we are actually now considered members of the Brotherhood of Steel. We are a knight in the Brotherhood. That's awesome while I'm walking around in Enclave armor, which is hilarious. Hail. Hail. I am not going to be doing Broken Steel at this moment. We have a lot of exploring to do. We have a lot of bobbleheads to find. I've got a lot of shit I gotta drop off. <laughs> uh, data, let's take a look at quests. We are not doing that one right now. I'm thinking... I'm thinking stealing independence. Which, right now, we'll go to Megaton. Because I've got a bunch of crap I need to drop off. We're going to hold off on Broken Steel for quite a while. I want everything else done before we do Broken Steel. Nobody wants to come talk to me? I'm down with that. Hello? <laughs> You're just a normal settler. Alright, here we go. Home sweet home. Because of the fact alone, what am I doing with a 32 of point 32 pistol? No idea. Goodbye. I don't really need that either. Colonel's uniform I don't need. Holy cow. It's actually pretty powerful, but we'll put it away. Recon armor is really not bad. But it'll go away for now. Tesla will go away for now. I don't need to be carrying all that extra shit. I don't need that. I gotta find the people... Thank you. I really got to find the people that, uh... Stealing independence. Let's see if we can figure out where we got to go with that. Retrieve the Declaration of Independence from the National Archives. Have I ever even found the National Archives? No, it's in there. Great. I guess the best place to start would be Georgetown North. But we got Vault 108. Regulator HQ. Alright, that's where I want to go. Yeah, I want to place a marker. Oh, X. Alright, now is there any place I've been close by to? Okay. Yeah, it's minefield. Let's go find the regulators and turn in these, these fingers. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. And then maybe we'll make our way over to uh, Vault 101. There we go. There's the marker. It is time to start exploring the wasteland. Unlock some of the locations that we have not seen yet. Really take a look at them. And then maybe start thinking about stepping into the other DLCs. Such as Into the Pit, Aiding the Outcasts. Uh, lots of quests, actually. This game is far from over. Even though we completed the main story and, and turned on Project Purity, we're far from done with Fallout 3. We got plenty more left to go in this, uh, in this series, guys. So if you're enjoying this series, don't fret. There's plenty more coming. I'm actually surprised that, you know, 11 videos in, 
we completed the main story to begin with, to be completely honest with you. So. But still, not a bad little, uh, thought I heard something. I don't hear nothing no more. Regulators are somewhere over here. We're looking for the regulators. I want to regulate. We are pushing forward. How's that on fire? Ouch! The hell are we got? Ow! What the hell? Enclave. You dicks! Damn, she went flying. Sucks to be you. I don't really care about your shit. Flame or fuel, though. I'll take that stuff. Where's the asshole? There he is. Oh, my God. We got a robo-brain. We don't have a robo-brain anymore. Did we clear everybody? We got some dead feral ghouls. How strange. Might not be a terrible idea to think about healing after all that. Where's the enclave dude that I killed? I guess he just got blown away. All right. Well, I was going to take some of his shit, but fuck it. I don't care. We are heading for the regulators. Because we are a part of their little thingy. That's why we collect fingers. Let's stay out of that stuff. Sun's coming up. That's a good sign. We are heading to them, right? No, I'm heading the complete opposite direction. of where I wanted to go. Move it. Now we got there. Ooh. Yagwai. You died. All right, let's see here. Alright, if I go straight ahead straight straight ahead from here, I will reach where I was intending to go that for some reason that marker is not showing. Apparently I can't There we go, just remove the marker. It's not serving any purpose anyway. I was heading the wrong way, now we'll head this way. And hopefully reach there before I decide to end this video. Actually... Best way to do this is let's go back to the minefield. Just fast travel back to the minefield, which is a lot closer. Now we look, I want to be heading south by southeast, essentially, I want to be heading this way. So we'll take a look. 
See, I thought it was taking too long. I'm assuming that is what I'm looking for, that little marker right there. Oop. We have some enemies. What do we got, raiders? Yep, just some raiders. Oh, God, sucks to be you, dude. Hey, more fingers, I'll take them. Still heading the right way, yes, yes, okay, good. I gotta take a trip back to the, uh, back to the mothership and, uh, scrounge up some more, uh, ammo for my gun here. And I gotta be cautious, I'm becoming a little bit too dependent upon that gun. Oop. What do we got? Another Yaogwai? No mole rat. No big deal. It's a dead mole rat now. Alright. According to this, I should be coming right up on it. Yowch! Damn it. Is there more? Okay, good. Oh my god, we got a rad scorpion. Oh, got a hit on it. No, leave my Brahmin alone. You're dead. I, I, I didn't save all the Brahmin, but I at least saved one. And we found the Regulator Headquarters, which is what I was after. Put that away. Hey. You're just regular Regulators. You're not who I want to talk to. You are. What's up? I'm guessing that you've come about the notice. You know, I've heard about you. Yeah? You're not bad people, from what I understand. And the regulators can always use good folks. So what do you say? You read the notice, and you're here. So I'm guessing that you want to ride with us. Am I right? Sure, I want to join. Fantastic. Take this coat. We all wear them. The unrighteous fear the sight of the regulators. Now, as for the rest, here's the only thing we want from you. Hunt down the evil, the wicked, and the villainous. Bring them to justice. Yeah! Bring us their fingers as proof of the deed. We'll pay you a bounty for each one. Simple, right? Questions? Uh, I have fingers to collect the bounty on. Then you've been busy. Good. Show me what you have. Here, take all of them. You've done good work. Not only that, but the other regulators have told me of your other actions in your travels. Good deeds should not go unrewarded. And so I will add on a bonus to your normal bounty. All right. 400 bottle caps for 40 fingers. All right. I have to go now. Regulate. I'm very regular. Thanks for noticing, though. I appreciate that. All right, good. I'm allowed to take this stuff. It's okay that I take this stuff? You guys don't mind? All right, cool. I'm down with it. Can I sleep in the bed? Awesome. I can use a nap badly. I, I've been kind of beat up. And we got a Guns and Bullets magazine. That's awesome. And cigarettes I don't need. Ooh. Am I, am I allowed to play with the first aid kit too? Oh, stim packs. Awesome. I'm so thrilled. Let's see what else I can get involved with. I mean... See what else I'm allowed to take. I mean, idea. hey, accidents happen. Maybe if you didn't leave your shit all over the floor, people wouldn't trip on it. Just saying. It's not a judgment call, just saying. Let's 
Sometimes people make mistakes and have accidents. It happens to the best of us. You can't judge, you can only live with. Take all that stuff. Again, if you're gonna allow me to have it, I'm gonna take it. And I see a nuke of quantum needed. I don't even know how many nuke quantums I have right now. Obviously, I don't have all of them. I know that, but still. Stay on the right side of the law. I will be on whatever side I choose to be on. All right, guys, and I'm going to end this video right here. When we come back to the next Fallout 3, we are going to explore this huge, huge map. An area that we just have not explored yet. We got the Temple of the Union. We've got... Well, we, we explored that stuff, but we got Vault 92 and Vault 108. We have just that alone marked up that we have yet to take a look at. All this area here is really unexplored. All this area down here is really unexplored. Basically, the only thing we've uh, given some attention to has been parts of downtown, but there's still plenty of areas in downtown we haven't explored yet. So we're going to get to work on exploring some stuff and then maybe even take a trip finally into the questings of, uh, well, not stealing independence. I just put that on for the sake of putting that on. We could check out the outcast radio signal. We could check out the uh, river boat or we can head to the wasteland equivalent of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video in any capacity, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out all the other great Let's Plays from Press A Gaming and all the great podcasts of Rumble Mist Entertainment. Twitch followers, guys, thank you very much for the follow and the love. And please, please, please keep an eye out for the next videos coming along. I'm always doing streams of some uh, sort of game. I may even, uh, after a quick break and setting up this video for upload to YouTube, may jump back on with another game, whether it be Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, or many of the other games I play, you never know. So stick around. You might see me back on in about 20 minutes or so. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will catch you on the next Fallout.